Hey, what's up, guys? It's Darkroom Duel, so I'm technically to doing a Cubic deck profile. So I'm really excited to see you guys because this deck is a really amazing OTK based deck that spins out one of the coolest boss monsters in the entire game Crimson Nova, the Dark Cubic Lord. I absolutely love this boss monster because it can pretty much OTK your opponent on its own, which is a really, really amazing thing. So without further ado, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell on there so you can come part notification squad and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards, like in your name, description, every single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month or a patron, along with test stand. So, without further ado, let's get straight on into this. So, first off, we're playing three copies of Crimson Nova, the Dark Cubic Lord. This card is an insanely powerful boss monster that has the ability that it cannot be normal summoned or set. It must be special summoned from your hand by revealing three other cubic cards in your hand hands with different names and cannot be special summoned by other ways it's unaffected by other monsters activated effects whose attack points is 3000 or less and when this card attack or when this attacking card destroys a monster by battle you can activate this effect that this card can make a second attack during that battle phase and then during your end phase each player takes 3000 points of damage you can only use the effect of this card once per turn this card is an insanely powerful card does 3,000 points of burn damage during the end phase, can attack twice, and it's unaffected by anything that has 3,000 or less attack points. This card is everything an OTK boss monster needs to be. We then play three copies of Dooza the Meteor Cubic Vessel. This card is one of the best normal summons in the entire deck because it has the ability, if this card is normal or special summon, you can send a cubic card from your deck to the graveyard, which is a really good effect to get the exact cubic card that you need into the graveyard like cubic karma to be able to banish it to get a search which is really good for this deck we then play three copies of v -Jom, the cubic seed this card is a really good defensive card in this deck that has the ability that it cannot be destroyed by battle which is really good to just set this card on your side of the field if you need to wait it out so you can get to your copies of crimson nova it also has the ability to, at the end of the damage step if this card battled an opponent's monster you can blaze this card face up in your spell and trap card zone as a continuous spell and if you do you place a cubic counter on the opponent's monster and then monsters with cubic counters cannot attack and also have their effects negated and if this card is treated as a continuous spell card by this effect during your main phase you can special summon this card from the spell and trap card zone which is a pretty good effect to get the exact monster that you need for defense back on your side of the field we then play a single copy of buster gun Neil. this card is basically here for the name it's a really good boss monster as well but it's a little hard to summon but it is a really good card. It does require you to send three cubic monsters you control to the graveyard to be able to special summon this card. But if this card is special summon this way, its attack becomes 3,000. And this card can make a second and third attack during each battle phase, which is a really good effect. We then play a single copy of Endora Doom. Endora Doom is kind of here, again, just for the name, to reveal it in your hand to be able to go in for your copy of Crimson Nova. Then we play a single copy of the Cubic King. I play just a single copy of this card. I actually do summon this card every so often because it does do a little bit of burn damage and it has the ability to send a cubic monster that you control to the graveyard to special summon this card to your side of the field. And if this card is summoned this way, it gains 800 attack. And if this card is special summoned from your hand, you inflict 800 points of damage to your opponent, which is a pretty good effect to be able to just do 800 points of burn damage. We then play three copies of Summoner Monk. Summoner Monk is here to be able to special summon out your copies of Dooza to be able to send the exact cubic card you need to the graveyard yard while also being able to go in for some really good rank four plays we then play two copies of gamma seal gamma seal is pretty good in the deck as well because it can get rid of cards that you don't want to have to deal with to go in for otks like for example if your opponent has a copy of dragoon on the field you can just kaiju it away to be able to go in with your crimson nova and then go in for a second attack which is always good in this deck we then play three copies of ash blossom to round out the monsters this is basically here to be able to stop the opponent from touching the deck, and it's a really good card for this build. So, that's it for the monsters, guys. Let's get into the spells. 
So for the spells, we're going to be playing a single copy of Harpy's Feather Duster. Harpy's Feather Duster is here to be able to just deal with your opponent's back row so you don't have to go in with a bunch of trap cards set when you summon out your copy of Crimson Nova. We then play three copies of Foolish Burial Goods because a lot of our cards in this deck that are spells and traps actually get banished from the graveyard by their own effects to do different things like your copies of Cubic Karma that can banish themselves to be able to give you a search, which is a really good effect. So basically, Basically, Foolish Burial is a catch-all card to be able to send any of those spell and traps to the graveyard to get a wide range of really, really good effects. We then play three copies of Pot of Extravagance, because you don't really go into the extra deck all that much in this deck. So this card is a really, really good three of to be able to give you a draw to. You don't summon it all pretty much from the extra deck, except for maybe one or two cards in certain situations. Like, for example, if you summon out Summoner Monk to your side of the field, discard a spell, and then summon out a Dooza, send a card to the graveyard, and then make a rank four with the copy of Dooza and your copy of Summoner Monk, which does come up every so often, but it's not that often in this deck. So you play the copies of Extravagance just to give you that extra draw power. We then play two copies of Cubic Dorama. This card is a good two of, in my opinion. I don't play it at three because it does come up sometimes that you will draw into multiple copies of this card. So I feel like two is totally fine. It has the ability that you take no battle damage from attacks involving your Cubic Monster and you can only use each of the following effects of this card once per turn that during your main phase you can send a cubic card from your hand to the graveyard and if you do draw a card or you can banish this card from the grave to be able to target a cubic monster in the grave and add it back to your hand again really good card but with pot of extravagance you're never really going to get that first effect off unless you don't have an extravagance which is why i played this card as a two of and play extravagance at three we then play three copies of cubic wave this card comboed with crimson Sonova pretty much equals an instant OTK because this card is the ability to target a cubic monster that you control and a face-up monster your opponent controls and the attack of the monster that you control becomes double and the attack of the opponent's monster is halved. This card is really, really good because it can boost your copy of Crimson Nova all the way up to 6,000, and it can attack twice if it destroys a monster by battle, which is just absolutely nuts. This card is really, really good and helps you OTK super, super easy, and it also has the ability that you can manage this card from your graveyard. You can manage any number of cubic monsters from your graveyard, and then target face-up monsters your opponent controls equal to the number of banished cards that were cubic cards by this effect, and place one cubic counter on each monster that they control which is pretty good to be able to just banish this card from the graveyard and get that effect helps out a lot to be able to just distribute those cubic counters onto your opponent's monsters because it has the ability that monsters with cubic counters cannot attack and it negates their effects which helps you go in for otks we then play three copies of Cubic Karma. The only real effect on this card that really, really matters is that you can banish this card from your graveyard to add a Cubic Monster from your deck to your hand, which is what Foolish Burial Goods is here for, that you can activate the Foolish Burial Goods, send Cubic Karma to the graveyard, and then banish it to be able to get a search, which is really good in this deck. So that's it for the spells, guys. Let's get into the traps. So for the traps, we're going to be playing a single copy of Cubic Ascension. This card is a good one of in this deck. I consider playing it at two, but one seemed totally fine. It has the ability that when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can special summon a V Jom, the Cubic Seed, from the deck. And if you do, change the attack target to that monster and perform damage calculation. This card's a really good defensive card to be able to just throw a copy of V Jom onto your side of the field, which is just really good. It also has the ability that uh, after, if your opponent's life points are at least 2,000 higher than yours, you can manage this card from the graveyard to special summon out a V Jom from your hand deck or graveyard. And if you do, only your opponent controlled, if your only, only your opponent controlled a monster when this effect was activated, you can special summon two more V Joms to your side of the field, which is how you usually summon out the copy of Buster Gunniel, which is why I did consider playing this card as a two of in this deck. We then play a single copy of Cubic Casualty. This card is a really good one of in the deck because it has the ability to distribute uh, a number of cubic counters on face-up monsters your opponent controls up to the number of cubic monsters that you control. Monsters with cubic counters cannot attack and their effects are negated as well. And you can manage this card from the graveyard to target one cubic monster you control. And this turn, each time it destroys a monster by battle that has a cubic counter, you inflict damage to your opponent equal to the original attack of the destroyed monster, which can again help you go in for those OTKs. But I did consider dropping this card for another copy of Cubic Ascension so you guys can try that out if you want to 
We then play three copies of Unification. Unification is the best trap card in the entire archetype because it has the ability to um, basically has the ability to fusion summon into a cubic fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion materials. But the big effect that you're going to be using on this card is if a face up cubic monster is destroyed by battle or leaves the field, then you can manage this card from the graveyard to special summon a level four or lower cubic monster from your hand or deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. And if you do, it cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects this turn, which is a really, really good effect to be able to just get rid of one of your cubics on your side of the field and then use this card to be able to go in for an additional copy of like a Dooza or a copy of V-Jom. This card comes in very, very handy. So that's it for the main deck, guys. Let's get into the extra deck. So for the extra deck, since it is pretty much an extravagance build, there is a lot of three ofs in here. So there's a lot of cards that you can bump up if you like them more than some of the other cards. So that is an option for you guys as I'm going through this extra deck. If you see a card that you want to include, you definitely can because you don't really go into the extra deck. A card that I did consider playing that I'm not playing this extra deck is a Baguska. So it is an option for you guys. So let's get into the extra deck. So for the extra deck, we're going to be playing a single copy of Crimson Nova. It's very, very rare that you're going to summon this card. But when you do, you pretty much win the game. This card is absolutely nuts and it takes three copies of crimson nova to be able to summon we then play three copies of number 27 dread not dread nord this is a card that i do summon every so often off the copy of summon rung because it's very easy to summon this card and then summon out a rank 10 monster on top of this card to be able to go in for zeus to have a multiple material zeus on your side of the field which is really really insane and this card can actually protect itself if this card is going to be destroyed by an opponent's monster by battle you can basically just or if this card does destroy an opponent monster by battle then at the end of the battle phase you can special summon from your extra deck one rank 10 or higher machine xz monster using this card as a material which is pretty good and also has some built-in protection that once per turn if this face of card on the field would be destroyed by battle that card effects you can just detach a material in this card instead which is pretty good we then play a single copy of number 81 i'm like this card is a one of in here because basically just provides a little bit of protection because once per turn during either player's turn you can just detach a material in this card then target a face up monster on the field and the target's under affected by card effects except its own effects which is again pretty good as a built-in protection we then play three copies of gustav max with this and your copies of um crimson nova you can do 5,000 burn damage which is pretty good and this card is really good as well because it's super easy to summon on top of your copy of number 27 and it's just really good especially when you summon juggernaut Libby on top of it which is a really powerful boss monster but you kind of use this almost like a downer magician that you basically su summon out your copy of number 27 destroy something by battle then make your copy of the rail cannon then you make the copy of juggernaut Libby, and then you make a copy of the double a zeus on top of it to give you a really really big zeus and it has multiple materials on it which is really nice because it starts out with the two on the dreadnought dreadnought and you go two three four five material zeus which is pretty good i really like that ability you can even do the 2000 burn damage and still have a four material zeus which is really nice we then play two copies of pentastag pentastag is really good because it does piercing damage it allows a monster that it's pointing to to do piercing damage which is really nice when it points to one of your monsters and then we play a single copy of relinquished anima because relinquished anima is here to be able to gobble up opponents monsters by using a v-jom as a material so that's it for the extra deck guys and that's it for the deck profile i hope you did enjoy this deck it's a really amazing otk deck cubics are actually a pretty budget deck as well so if you guys want to pick up a deck that's not very expensive and is really really fun to play i definitely definitely recommend cubics it is super fun to be able to play with and very very easy to summon out your boss monster so anyways guys this is dark arm duelist don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell there so you can come part notification squad and we'll see you guys in the next video see you later guys